Alright, PB Boy Man Mike here. Just want to do a quick breakdown on a guy that I think will be perfect for the Atlanta Falcons, depending on what the draft pick is. I wouldn't draft this guy, you know, anywhere over the tenth pick. You know, anything below the tenth, uh, twelfth, thirteenth round. I would definitely take this guy. The Falcons are desperate need of a run stuffer, and Ed Oliver is one of those guys who is damn near impossible to move. All right, he's damn near impossible to move. Uh, he has tremendous strength and leverage. The guy just, all right, he's a fucking beast. All right, for me, he's a beast run stuffer. Period. Point blank. He's a beast run stopper. And if you can continue to build on this guy's pass rushing moves, um, you might have a solid, solid guy who can play one and three. The three technique is uh, what Grady Jerry plays, plays for the most part, who can penetrate. Um, and you continue to, you know, you draft a guy that can play along with Grady Jerry, this, this defense will be absolutely scary, all right? It Oliver has that amount of ability. And here's a play where he pretty much takes on the block, uh, takes on the center, and pretty much just controls him, and he makes a play on the the running back. And this is one that I think the Atlanta Falcons are in desperate need of a guy like Ed Oliver. So check it out for me. Bam. Get that shred's mouth. Bam. Okay? That's the stuff you can't teach. That's exactly what you can't teach. So uh, Atlanta Falcons, they can get a guy like this, man, who can play uh, consistently, take on the block, shred the blocks, make the play on the running back. Man, look, man, this is exactly what the Atlanta Falcons are. Keep those small linebackers, Deion Jones, Duke Riley, you know, those guys off of offensive linemen. Man, the Falcons can be absolutely scary. So uh, this is a small breakdown on a guy like Ed Oliver, man. Um, the next one will show you um, how this guy just never gives up. So check. All right, here's a play where he loops around. Instead of giving up on the play, he turns around chases the quarterback, and ends up making a play. This is something you cannot teach, all right? You can't teach this, people. You can't teach effort. This is all effort. This is all hard. And this is all Ed Oliver. And Dan Quinn, he loves players like this. Tack McKinley is one of those players where he just does not give up on the play, okay? He doesn't give up on the play uh, even if he's out of the play. He finds his way back on the play. And he ends up making the play on the quarterback, strips him. Uh, look, this is a playmaker. All right, he is the playmaker. He has flashes of brilliance. Bam. You can't teach that type of effort, all right? And like any other draft prospect and any player, there's weaknesses. And this is where Ed Oliver, for, for me, um, he struggles, and he may have a hard time um, getting acclimated to the NFL game because if he continues to play high, if he continues to you know, be inconsistent with his pass level, uh, pad levels, this is exactly where NFL offensive linemen are going to eat his ass alive. So he has to continue to play low, uh, continue to play with extremely good uh, pad levels. And in this uh, clip, um, this is exactly where the NFL is going to exploit him. Um, he has the potential to be a terrific prospect. But it scares me half the fucking death when he continues to play like this. Now take a look at this. And he looks, and he makes very little effort to use his hands to disengage from the offensive linemen. In the NFL, offensive linemen are going to do this. They're going to do things to get under your skin. They're going to do this every single time. Get into your body, and if you don't have good hands, all right, like a guy like Grady Jarrett, Aaron Donald, those guys, um, you're going to struggle. So in the NFL, if you can have good hand play, good hand play, all right, and if the coaches can, you know, help you along, he's going to be a terrific prospect. But he has to do better as a prospect, and he has he has to do better at disengaging from the offensive lineman. His hand play is pitiful. He makes little effort. What I call it, I call it the Andre the Giant um, syndrome, where he just stands and stands and stands and dares you to, you know, push him away. Dares him, dares you, all right, to block him. And you can't do that in the NFL. So, Ed Oliver, if you can improve this, 
man, I think you are a, a, a still in the draft. Um, I don't think this guy is a top 10 pick, but anything outside the top 10, I would not hesitate because this guy's a project player. He is raw, uh, but his potential is fucking through the roof. So let me know what you guys think about it, Oliver. Uh, leave your comments below. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Your boy, man, Mike is out, man. Peace.